It's a situation no modern governor could anticipate, a deadly virus killing the people of his state. We talked to Arizona Governor Doug Ducey about how he's handled the virus so far and what he sees as the way out. I know what a challenge it's been for so many Arizonans that have contracted the virus, that have lost a loved one. This has been an immensely challenging year beyond what all of us have done in traditional work settings or in the education setting or in the disruption in the economy. The governor says medical professionals and volunteers have done a great job delivering vaccinations and he praised Pima County's performance. Pima County has pleaded for more vaccine from the state. The governor says he's pushing the president, Arizona's U.S. senators and vaccine makers to send much more vaccine. He says the state is working on better ways to reserve a shot online or by phone. And then the other thing is just that responsibility. I know people get sick of hearing it. I try not to get sick of saying it, but it's that idea of doing the fundamentals around personal responsibility and wearing a mask. The governor says he's listening to experts who say vaccination alone will not shut down the virus, that more restrictions should return. But the governor did not commit to adding to existing rules that require steps like banning large gatherings and reducing the density in restaurants. The governor says part of the reason he made teachers a priority for vaccination is he wants schools to reopen for in-person classes. He feels science supports the idea that schools present a low risk of spreading the virus. He plans to ask state lawmakers for extra funding to help students catch up from the effect of a school year disrupted by COVID. So things like summer school, a one on one instruction, tutoring, after school classes, acceleration academies. In terms of rebuilding the economy, the governor says Arizona's economy was ahead of many other states when the pandemic hit. I would say in Arizona, because we've had this balanced approach, prioritizing lives first, but also not having sweeping mandates that were not advised from public health officials. We don't have an economy to rebuild. We have an economy to build on. And he says Arizona is positioned to lead the country in job growth once the pandemic lifts. In Phoenix, Craig Smith, KGON 9, on your side. Well, the governor also spoke with Senator Mark Kelly. Kelly told Ducey he supports his request for more vaccines from the federal government. He has joined a bipartisan group working to find common ground to fund more vaccination.